Happy snowy Saturday. Meteorologist Dave Downey here. We are digging out from the biggest two day snowstorm in over 12 years since December 2009. That means it's going to be very cold overnight tonight. We will warm up a little bit and warm up in quotation marks back to average uh, for Sunday, Monday and Tuesday before we take an even bigger nosedive on Wednesday and Thursday. Let's take a look now at some of those reports from yesterday. Southwest Iowa kind of got uh, the, the short end of the straw, if you will. Three inches there just northwest at Clearfield. Uh, th the contour you're seeing here, that's called the HD analysis, kind of basically what the satellite thinks is on the ground. Uh, that that kind of that purple to white shading is over six inches. So not, <laughs> the contour doesn't really do us a whole lot of good here. So focus mainly on the numbers. Uh, nine to 10 inches there in Marion County, pretty common. Also look at that close to a foot just south of Oskaloosa. Eight inches still down there in Appanoose County in Centerville. So still Southern Iowa did get a fair amount of snow. We're still kind of compiling all these reports. We're filming this just after four o'clock. If you tune into local five news at six, nine and 10, we'll have uh, more reports coming in. You see that one sticks out like a sore thumb, 14.3 inches. That's what the airport recorded. Before we get there, we'll transition uh, north of I-80. Foot and a half in Ames, or foot and a half an inch, I should say, in Ames, 10 inches just north of that. Uh, eight to, you know, seven to eight inches there in Hardin County, almost 10 inches up in Franklin County, 10 to 11 inches in Fort Dodge. You get the point here. A lot of snow fell yesterday across the metro too. Eight and a half, that's probably out near Pleasant Hill. 10 inches just north of downtown, 11 inches out in Urbandale, Clive, almost 13 inches just northwest at Ankeny. A lot of snow fell. Okay, so this is as of about 415. Road conditions improving. They just dropped the travel not advised here uh, just about a half hour ago for roads in the metro. You still see most of them are at least partially covered, if not completely covered. Completely covered is in that pink shade. Most of the roads completely covered in snow here across Polk County. There has been some improvement, though. So 14.3 inches. We mentioned that's the biggest two day snowstorm in over 12 years since December 2009. That's what the that's what the uh, airport registered. You remember just one month ago today, we had 61 tornadoes. What a difference a month makes. Welcome to Iowa weather. We're not supposed to get a derecho with 61 tornadoes, over five dozen tornadoes in the month of December. That happened yesterday happened too. So just kind of the, the nature of the weather, I guess, across Iowa. Low 30s tomorrow, so really not a half bad day. Much better than today, though. We're going to go through wind chills tonight. They're going to peak in terms of how bad they are overnight, probably between about 2 and 4 a.m., maybe 5 a.m. Here's 430. Negative double digits is what it's going to feel like out there. Even though it is going to get to the low 30s, it's not exactly going to feel like that tomorrow afternoon. Uh, future cast wind chills in the teens, maybe the mid 20s out to the west where there was a little bit less snowfall. Here's your sledding forecast. Of course, you can't really drop some better conditions to go sledding with that wet snow, the easily packed wet snow that's on the ground. Low 30s by tomorrow afternoon. You see the high temperature is 32, but we don't hit that high really until after the sun goes down, maybe around 6 or 7 o'clock. Uh, teens in the morning, well, we will up pretty quickly, though. 33 Monday, then look at that. That's the warmest day of the, year, of the week right there. 37 degrees on Tuesday, but oh boy, things are going to change. Nine degrees for a high Wednesday. Yeah, four degrees for the high temperature on Thursday. You probably don't want to see what the low is going to be Thursday morning. We'll show you it anyways. Bit of a bounce back there heading in to the upcoming weekend. We'll call it negative one tonight right around the zero degree mark. I mean, it doesn't really matter if it's zero, negative one, negative two. Very cold, common cold though. Uh, some clouds towards sunrise, but overall clear early clouds late. You see 10% chance there for tomorrow. Yeah, some of the high resolution models want to bring in yet another quick round of snow in that could provide a half an inch of snow across central and northeastern Iowa. We'll show you that future cast tonight on local five news at six, nine and 10. Uh, but hey, at least a bit warmer with highs at the freezing mark. Here's your Holt Plummy Heating 10 day forecast. Yeah, look at those low temperatures Thursday and Friday morning, negative 10 and negative nine respectively. We're below average after Tuesday, though, once a pr pretty big cold front works its way through uh, for the rest of the four day work week.